Hello everyone, my name is Piki and welcome to my new video. So we are slowly making some progress in this world. We built this barn two episodes ago and in the last episode we built this starter house. But today I have the next thing on my list and this is to build a sugarcane farm. I said few episodes ago that I want enchantments as soon as possible and I want level 30 enchantments. And for that I need a lot of bookshelves and for bookshelves I need a ladder and I need a lot of paper. I already took care of the ladder, so over here I have my barn and in barn I have these cow farms that are producing leather. So both farms already work, but now it's time to build a sugarcane farm. Today I will just build a starter sugarcane farm, I don't have access to redstone for now, so I can't make automated sugarcane farm. But I will make manual starter sugarcane farm and I'm thinking that I will build it somewhere over here. I think this will be the good place for that. Over here I have house and close is barn so it would all be close but I need to terraform this area a little bit. I need to dig this mountain a little bit. And I'm planning to build this sugarcane farm from a birch. I have this birch forest over here and I didn't use birch for a long time. So I think it's right time to use it. Sugarcane farm is one of the easiest farm to make in Minecraft. So you just need some water, a little bit of dirt or sand and sugarcane. And I believe that I will use sand. I won't use dirt when I'm building with birch, then I will go with some lighter core team and using sand will be great for me. So now I will gather some materials, I will farm a little bit of this sand and birch and then we can start building this farm. I gathered some material that I need and now I will just quickly terraform this hill a little bit so I can start building this farm. So I clear this area and this will be the place where I will build this farm. This will be just a simple design, nothing too crazy. And it won't be too big because I don't need this farm to be too big. I will start with placing sand on the floor. I will go 10 blocks wide I think. And I will, I will make a few rows like that. So like this. And on the last row I will just go one block wide. So something like this. I have two of these one block wide and three of these that are two blocks wide. Now I will build with birch logs. I will use a strip birch logs but for now I will just build with regular birch logs and then later I will strip them. So I will make pillars on the corners and then I will connect everything just with this vertical align of these birch logs and all the way around like this. Now I have something like this and I will make these uh, pillars go higher. I think I will make it like 6 block high or something like this. And I make these pillars higher so it looks something like this. And now I will just again connect these pillars with this vertical line of uh, logs. So now I'm done with this and I stripped these logs so it looks much nicer. But now I need to make my stairs. I want to jump like crazy so I need stairs. And I will use oak stairs to make a little stairway. So something like this and again with birch logs and I will strip them. So I will make something like this on all four sides. Now my staircase is done 
and now basically the base of the build is done so now I need to add water to this farm so sugarcane can actually grow so just place all the way and sugarcane cake can actually grow even if uh, these spots are not uh, source blocks so even over here sugarcane it can grow but it don't look that don't look that great so I will make everything a source block now I can plant my sugarcane but first I will make some more details so I will uh, make more pillars above this uh, staircase so something like this and I will uh, strip this like everything else so I will make two, two rows like this and then one row will be in this direction so something like this and everything stripped by adding these beams it looks much more interesting otherwise there will be just a hole but I will fill these areas with uh, bird stairs so upside down bird stairs something like this and I will fill all these gaps with these stairs I finished placing these stairs and I planted my sugarcane so far is basically done now but I will add a little bit more details so first I will add a little bit of lanterns to make this uh, spawn proof so mobs won't spawn there and I will add a little bit of leaves all the way around to make a little bit more details and a little bit more color and texture so now this farm is officially done it's just simple design nothing too crazy I added just a few details and I think it looks quite nice so this house and this barn is more with built with more darker theme darker wood so I think this lighter theme fits very well now I have one more thing to do in this episode and this is to connect this farm with house and this barn with some pads I will make this pad by combining three types of blocks so first I will just use a regular pad block and then I will mix with some coarse, coarse dirt and with some oak slabs so I will put these slabs down and some of them up like this so I will combine this all the way to this pad and now when I'm done placing these blocks it looks something like this and these slabs uh, that are placed on bottom part of blocks adds a little bit of texture so it looks really nice and I uh, make this part so it, it is not straight it's curving a little bit so it looks a little bit better but I need to add a little bit more uh, details to this part so this is basically just the main part this part and now on the sides I will add a little bit more uh, details so I will add uh, randomly uh, some oak stairs to make it look a little bit more interesting and I will uh, make some uh, light sources so something like this I will place a spruce log and then I will make I will place four stairs so four fences like this and then I will place a spruce slab and spruce trapdoor and then on the bottom of this trapdoor I will put a lantern so this will be a mine a light source to light this path and here it is it's finished so I added a little bit of these leaves and I think it looks really good so it is simple really fast to make and it looks really nice I think and it lit up this part so it's nice in the night time I'm really happy how this place looks right now so by adding this little farm and this bed this place looks so much better and I'm really happy how this looks right now but there is one more little thing that I want to do in this episode so in the last episode we built this starter house 
but we didn't finish interior we didn't do anything in this top floor so I will finish this today and show you how it looks later but this place over here will still left empty because over here I will put my enchant setup and I don't have bookshelves yet so this will be for later I finished the interior of the house so I will make a little tour of the house so in front I have these pleasure plates so uh, doors can automatically open and close and then over here I showed this in the last episode but if you didn't see I have this kitchen area I replaced the floor with a white and black concrete over here I have something that should be like a sink and I have some uh, barrels for uh, storage then over here I put some uh, carpet with some beds and again barrels over here I have terrace on terrace I have just two chairs and on this wall I have this this little cuts where I have this um, strip spruce logs to add a little bit of texture and this is basically behind these pillars so just to add a little bit of texture then okay, again over here I don't have anything and on top floor I have my king size bed something like that I have a little bit of a chair and table uh, over here I have some more storage with some more storage more storage and more storage and you get it so this should be something like some shelves and that's basically it a simple design nothing too crazy with some lanterns I maybe add some banners like curtains later but I don't have a wall right now so I, did, I didn't make it yet and this would be it for this interior and this will be it for uh, this episode thank you for watching i hope that you enjoyed and see you in the next one bye